A painting of Queen Elizabeth II was defaced Thursday, allegedly by an angry dad who has been denied the right to see his children. The painting was commissioned for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and depicts the Queen in the center of Westminster Abbey. The culprit apparently tried to spray paint the word help on the portrait before security intervened. The painting was purchased for Westminster Abbey by Lord and Lady Harris of Peckham and went on display three weeks ago. Lord Harris told the BBC he was shocked to learn of the vandalism. When I first heard about it at about 2 o'clock today, I was completely devastated that someone could do this to, in my opinion, one of the best pictures ever painted of the Queen. Police have arrested 41-year-old Tim Harries on suspicion of criminal damage. Harries is a member of the activist group Fathers for Justice, which campaigns for equal parenting rights on behalf of divorced dads. According to Daily Mail, the divorced Harries has spent the last three and a half years fighting through the private family courts to have contact with his children. Fathers for Justice said Harries acted on his own without the group's support, but said it sympathizes with his plight. A representative told Channel 4 News, Harry's actions highlight the injustices of British family laws. These were clearly the actions of a very desperate man who felt he had no voice and no, nowhere else to turn after losing his children. Fathers for Justice has a history of flamboyant demonstrations. In 2004, a protester from the group made headlines when he scaled the front of Buckingham Palace dressed as Batman. Still lashing out at the Queen? It's an odd choice, but evidently an effective one. Harry's protests garnered headlines from nearly every British news agency. A writer for The Guardian claims this incident demonstrates just how deeply Brits care about their royalty. There's something primitive about our attitude to royal portraits. They are tokens of the ruler herself. That's why this iconoclasm is a shock. Not because the royal image is vulnerable, but because it really does feel outrageous to desecrate the Queen's image. Westminster is currently working to remove the graffiti and restore the painting, a process that's expected to take at least 10 weeks. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Landris. Multiple sources, a broader view.